Good evening and thanks for joining us for 8 News at 6. I'm Deanna Albritton. Eric has the night off. Virginia is taking steps to protect lab animals as the Invigo dog breeding facility in Cumberland continues to face repeat violations. The governor signing several bills into law today after multiple 8 News investigations into accusations of animal abuse. 8 News reporter Olivia Jakewith is live in Richmond. Olivia, what changes can we expect once these laws go into effect? Well, Deanna, this legislation closes what was essentially a loophole that in allowed facilities like that of Invigo in Cumberland County to get away with certain instances of animal abuse and neglect. Now, lawmakers tell me that's because these beagles weren't considered companion animals and therefore weren't subject to the same kind of protections as your dogs and cats at home. But with today's bill signing, that's no longer the case. A historic day for Virginia's four legged friends. Governor Glenn Youngkin signing five animal experimentation bills. Dogs and cats that are bred and sold for experimental purposes are protected, are protected by Virginia's cruelty to animal, animals laws. This comes after an undercover investigation by PETA found dozens of animal welfare violations at the Invigo breeding facility in Cumberland County. <laughs> including beagles suffering with painful and untreated conditions and being deprived of food. Forcing this facility to not euthanize surplus, so-called surplus animals, but make them available for adoption. There will be transparency, there will be accountability, and certainly if these chronic violations of the Federal Animal Welfare Act continue, this facility will have to leave our state. Daphna Nakminovich oversaw that undercover investigation. And since 2019, 8 News has been uncovering the treatment of thousands of beagles there, which has continued despite critical animal welfare violations. Their license should have been suspended by now, and animals should have been confiscated. They've promised maybe a five or ten million dollar investment in the facility to make sure that none of these violations ever happen again, but we'll see. With the unanimous passage of these five new bills, that's exactly what Senator Bill Stanley says the Commonwealth will have the power to do. When they touch grass for the first time on their paws, it's just an amazing thing. And they're now getting to live free. Now, Senator Stanley says that hundreds of these beagles have already been adopted with about 180 more right now looking for their forever homes. As for what's next, the key will be monitoring this Invigo facility in Cumberland County and others like it to make sure they comply. For now, live in Richmond, Olivia Jaquith, 8 News. Thanks, Olivia. Animal watchdog groups are applauding this new legislation. PETA is thanking the governor and General Assembly, saying these laws will stop in Vigo from allowing beagles to suffer with painful and untreated conditions. SAEN echoes similar thoughts, stating this legislation will make it impossible for breeders who seriously violate the Animal Welfare Act to sell dogs and cats to labs.